New at 6, St. Louis County's prosecutor is opting not to file charges in a shooting near the Galleria Mall that turned deadly. And right now the prosecutor is refusing to reveal video from before, during or after when police shot Terry Tillman last year. Instead, they invited reporters to view the footage. Lauren Traeger breaks down what she saw and what's next. Well, here at the prosecutor's office, we watched actual dash camera video of the moment that Terry Tillman was shot by a Richmond Heights police officer. Prosecutors say they had planned to release some of the video and some of the evidence to the public today, but the family of Terry Tillman asked them not to, so they decided not to do it. But instead of showing it to you, then I can only describe it to you in multiple surveillance videos. You could see Tillman in the mall with an extended magazine in his waistband. In fact, News 4 was there shortly after the shooting. A News 4 employee was witness to the chaos that surrounded it all. The video surveillance, though, that I saw today shows officers walking up to Tillman because of that weapon he had. In the surveillance video, then, it shows Tillman running off, hitting a clothing rack, and prosecutors say he dropped his gun, then picked it back up. Another video then later shows him at the bank across the street from the Galleria. There he is seen holding a black object in his hand when officer an officer then shot him and in that video after that shooting you can hear the officer tell Tillman to drop the gun to which Tillman says I dropped it I dropped it he ultimately passed away from his injuries now the prosecutor's office again is not releasing the video at this time not even any screen grabs that we can unfortunately not show you that the shooting also happened back in August so we asked what brought so what took so long to bring this case to resolution they said that the pandemic hindered their ability to gather and review some of the evidence in this particular case. We, though, have requested through public records requests some of that video, and we will, of course, continue to follow this. In Clayton, Lauren Traeger, News 4.